Today we are learning to think and act like artists. We are painting our pop art words today. When it's done, it might look like one of these. Pop art paintings usually have bold, bright, primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Pick one primary color to paint the background and another primary color to paint the onomatopoeia, like in these examples. We have a red and blue combination and a blue and yellow combination. Both examples have the primary colors. Let's look at a few examples. If you can give me a suggestion, please raise your hand. Let's talk about this example. Don't paint it all one color. The onomatopoeia won't pop out. How about this example? Don't paint it half and half. The onomatopoeia won't pop out. Let's talk about this one. The onomatopoeia is too hard to read. Pick one color and stick with it. What about this one? The onomatopoeia is too hard to read and some of the colors are very pale. All right, one more. Please stay in the lines. Paint really carefully. We're painting with temper cakes today. Please keep the temper cakes clean. If your palette has a dirty temper cake like this one, you can clean it by washing the dirty paint off with your brush. To start, dip your brush in water and stir your brush on the temper cake that you're using. More brush strokes will make the color brighter. Paint the background shape first, like this. <clears throat> Try to stay in the lines. When I paint the background shape, I like to outline the edges like this and then paint the shape inside like that. We're halfway done. And the background shape is done. Let's wash our paintbrush. Let the background dry for a moment and then paint the onomatopoeia. Stay in the lines. Paint really carefully. If your paper is really soggy, let the wet areas dry before you paint the onomatopoeia. Otherwise, your colors might run together. And we're all done. You don't have to paint the outside edges of the paper. We have something special in store for that part in the future. So let's get started. Paint the background shape first and then paint the onomatopoeia. Do that now and then stop. 